Hello there, it's your girl Daphne back with another video. As you can see from the clips, I have been a busy, busy bee. So let's get started. So I've been getting a lot of comments, um, compliments on my yard, on my lawn, and I really want to say thank you to everyone. But I also wanted to just um, show you guys what I do to try to treat different areas. In this case, I have some Creeping Charlie, and I'm just spraying it with this Ortho um, Weed Killer. It's safe for grass, and you just have to follow the instructions. I sprayed it, not overly saturating it, and then I'm also um, spraying these random weeds that I have um, in the lawn. And then I'm gonna wait two days before I um, mow the lawn. That's how it's listed on the instructions. And I'm gonna periodically check back in and show you guys how the progression um, is going on the lawn in this section because the Creeping Charlie, I let it go for way, way too long. And I just wanted to show you guys how you're able to work on little areas and get things taken care of. Now this is an area that we worked on um, two videos ago. And I just wanted to just let you guys see, this is where I sprayed it. This has been a day later. So as you can see, the Creeping Charlie is starting to die. And what I'm gonna be doing is doing a total cleanup in this area. Um, we have our heating tower there. I had it on the grass. You're gonna see where the grass died underneath, but that's okay. As soon as you move it off, I'll be able to rehab it and get it uh, back to life. So I'm just going to relocate this on the other side of the lawn. And then we're gonna go in and we're going to weed whack all of that high grass that's coming over from my neighbor's yard. And then we're just going to do all the weeding and cleaning in that area um, and just make it look a lot better. And then we're gonna continue to work on different areas within the yard. So I am proud of myself. I was able to grab the weed whacker and this is only my second time weed whacking before. So I'm trying to go slow, but I was able to get it all weed whacked before I started mowing and I tackled all of this high grass that was coming over uh, from my neighbor's uh, side. And I am going to make sure that I am on top of this before I mow each week so that I can make sure that it doesn't continue to come over on my side. So after I finish this, now I'm going in and I'm doing the mowing. This is actually only the second or third time that I've mowed this season because we've had such you know cool weather, the grass hasn't been growing as rigorously as it has in past spring. So just taking you guys along for the mowing motivation. I like to introduce myself to anyone that's new that clicked on my video for the first time today. My name is Daphne and I'd like to welcome you to my channel. To all of my loyal subscribers, welcome back. I hope that everyone enjoys this video and is able to just sit back, relax, write out your to-do list and just enjoy. I have been doing so much outside and I am so thankful to all of you for tuning in each week to join me, to see what I'm doing, to check in and chat in the comments with me. So I just wanted to say a special thank you to everyone for watching.
So I made sure that I did all of the weed whacking first and then I came across it with the lawnmower so that I can pick up a lot of that long um, grass. But in the areas where it's on the rock wall, I had to rake those areas out. And now I'm going in and I'm pulling out the weeds that are in the mulchy area. Now I noticed that a lot of these underneath this table in this area is columbine and it's seeded, it's self-seeded here because I believe I had on the table last year some of the columbine plants. But as you know, any type of plant that is in an area that you don't want it to be is a weed, so you have to pull it out. So unfortunately, these were beautiful columbines, but they were not serving me um, the way that I would want them to, so I had to pull them out. So since we're working on this side, I'm just going to redefine the edge here. I'm gonna be using my electric edger. So I'm gonna put you guys on the tripod so that you can get a better look. Now I'm definitely not a professional, but I do get better each and every time that I use another tool. And I think I did a pretty good job. So all of this grass, this ground cover is called Creeping Jenny. And can you believe it was only about four quart size plants that I originally planted along the fence to just fill in the rocks. And it has grown all over the place over the past several years. Now what I usually do, and I think I'm going to do this week is cut all of this creeping jenny just back to about a foot away from the fence and then just let it re um you know reflush out but i think it's a little too much for now so probably in the next video you'll see this um, just all cut back and where I had the columbine, I'm just gonna go in and where the other weeds were, I'm just gonna go in with a little ortho weed killer to just suppress the weeds there as well. As promised, we are back in the garden and we are going to be working on rehabbing this poor neglected cilantro. And we're also going to be potting up this sweet and this uh, rosemary and I already have English thyme that I've had for a couple of years that keeps coming back. So we're just gonna get started. We're gonna see what we're gonna be doing today but we're definitely gonna be having fun. So I'm so glad that you guys joined me. So let's get gardening.
So leave me a comment down below if you're doing any uh, gardening, if you're doing an herb garden, if you're doing any veggies. I am really loving all of this sun and being outside. So I think I will be planting a little more herbs and definitely some veggies. So I'm gonna keep you guys posted, but leave me a comment down below with anything that you're working on in your garden. I love all of the colors that the herbs and flowers are bringing to my backyard. I'm just able to put little pots and nestle them into different areas and I'm so thankful to be able to share this with you guys. I feel like I am looking at the outdoors so differently this year. I'm really enjoying all of the colors that nature has to offer and I'm constantly sharing on Instagram and also in the community um, tab different flowers and inspiration. So I hope that you guys are enjoying those posts that I've been sharing. I'm definitely going to keep you guys posted on this cilantro, but I don't think it's going to make it. If you remember from my last video, actually I think it's two videos before this one, when I sheared back all of the pansies that were not doing too well, where these were the last four of those, the tray that I had rehabbed. And you can just see how it flushed back out with all these beautiful blooms. So never give up on your plants. Just water them and cut them back and they will bounce back. So last week as I was walking down this path, I noticed that I had a voluntary pukara. And here it is. I am going to dig it up. It came from the plant that is on the other side of the walkway, I guess, and it must have blown across. Now I have landscape fabric all underneath all of this mulch. mulch so the hookra had rooted on top of the landscape fabric so i'm just gently pulling it out and we're going to pot it up in one of our planters in the back and i hopefully will be able to get two additional hookers from this and then as i was pulling this out i noticed a little green hookra over here so i'm going to pull that out as well and we're going to plant it up and we're going to watch it and we're going to see how they do Thank you. 
Now in the past, I probably would have just pulled that out and tossed it thinking that it was a weed. But because I've been really paying attention and looking at all of the leaves, I was able to uh, recognize that that was a hookra or corobel, whichever name that you would like to call it. But they're absolutely beautiful and I have them all throughout my landscape. And it's a very easy plant to be able to care for. So I'm going to keep you guys posted, but this is how it turned out. And I just want to thank you guys for joining me again. I want to thank you so much each week that you come back and spend some time with me. And I hope that everyone has a blessed day. Mm -hmm.